welcome back to the channel. So this is just a little bit of an extension on my last video which was the pulse width modulation video. And what have I done? Well, I've painted a potentiometer here. So how does it work? Well, every two centimeter increments is a change in resistance, which then effectively changes the brightness or the speed of a motor or an LED. But that is in very, very loose terms. That is not strictly true. But this is absolutely awesome, eh? <laughs> so it works quite similar to a variable resistor almost, which is also really cool. But I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. I'm going to give you a better view of what's going on here. And I'm going to give you a little example of what this can actually do with the LED and the motor, which I've got here. So I'll move the camera and I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway guys, so welcome back, and I've changed the camera angle so you can have a much better view of what's actually going on here. But the first thing I want to do is actually show you this painted pedometer, so you can get a bit of a better view of it. So, it starts off at 1.8 kiloohms, and it ends up finishing at about 140 kiloohms, which is <laughs> an absolutely massive difference between point to point which is awesome. So, I'm going to move this LED just a little bit closer so you can actually see the brightness of the LED change. So if I bring this here, make sure you have a good view of that. If I now grab this patch cable which is connected into my breadboard and I touch it here you're going to see the LED come on oh, something's touching you want to be really careful because if anything touches it will end up shorting the uh, circuit so now if I touch this the LED will come on so the further I run my patch cable down this stream oh, the dimmer it gets which is <laughs> well which is pretty cool so I'm now hitting about 31 kilo ohms and we're on about this much brightness so we keep going down and down and down and down and down and we hit about 75 kilo ohms and it's at that point where it's almost about to turn off so bring it all the way back up and you see the brightness just increase. That is kind of cool. <laughs> so that is absolutely fantastic. And it's not only we can do this with LEDs, we can also do this with motors as well, which makes it really cool. So to do it with a motor, all I have to do is wire it up before the resistor in this breadboard. So let's give it a little example. There we go, so we've wired up the motor into the breadboard now, and it should work the exactly the same as the LED. So, depending on where I touch this lead, right here, on this poten potentiometer, will change the speed of the motor. So, we start off down here, and I can just hear it. But as I start to go up, the resistance gets less, and you're going to start seeing it go. So I'll bring it down and it slows right down and bring it up to the top. And it absolutely goes crazy. So that was an example of that. And I'm going to move the camera now so you can actually see my entire face. <laughs> and I'll talk a little bit more about this. Wow, so that was... <laughs> wow, so that was actually really cool. Um, to talk about this a little bit more, this is only a stepping stone in what I actually want to do with this, uh, because it has occurred to me <laughs> that this could be a completely painted circuit, except the Arduino of course, but this could be a completely painted circuit which would be crazy, <laughs> that would actually be so awesome. So 
I'm going to be working on that in the next couple. Uh, on I'm going to be working on this on the next couple days to try and get this to a completely painted circuit, which would be awesome. So you guys can expect a video in the next coming days, maybe a week or so. Um, hopefully with a finished finished circuit. I hope that was of interest to you guys, and I hope that you guys actually follow along with this little bit of development that I'm working on at the moment, because uh, that would actually be really cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video either way, and leave a comment if you have any feedback, you know I always read my comments, and I'll see you guys later, bye!